The Imperial Army has invaded Burgundy, and will reach Garrig Mark within the month. With no way to stop their advance, we must ready ourselves for a siege. We sent the bulk of the knights away last month, after the Western Church occupied one of our sacred sites. The forces that remain are thin at best. How are we to hold the monastery with such short-handed numbers? It is possible the Empire orchestrated that entire incident to bleed off our strength. Look at how thoroughly information about it was buried, and how quickly the Empire invaded after declaring war. It all feels carefully calculated. I would not put it past them. If they bring war to our doorstep, they will want us on the worst footing possible. If the tides turn against us, we may have to abandon Garrett Mark. Never! Edelgard is already using the Southern Church to erode our legitimacy. And now she has the gall to try and remove us by force? There can be no mercy for tyrants. So help me, I would like to put her entire army to the sword myself. Is it truly too late to prevent bloodshed, Lady Rhea? Edelgard must have her reasons for doing this. If so, they elude me. The woman seems to consider our church's very existence an abomination. Yet she has gone to the trouble of reviving the Southern Church, which implies she does not mean to destroy the faith outright. Perhaps Garrick Mock is the true prize she seeks. Or worse, this entire invasion could merely be a precursor to conquering all of Fodlan. Hmm. Her purpose matters not. Our charge is to defend the monastery at all costs. I took an oath. I swore I would never again suffer the boots of thieves to sully this land. Rhea. It is a low form of comedy we find ourselves engaged in this day. To think the descendants of their empire will be the first to invade Garrick Mok. All the more reason to prevent it. I care not if we shared blood countless generations ago. I will not permit anyone to defile Mother's resting place. Do you have a moment? Would you do something for me?
Let's see. Hello. Huh. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. I will finish it summarily. And you need me for this? Are you sure? Hunger is the true enemy. Solid, solid.
How did you know this was my favorite? I thank you deeply. No. Did you really? Oh, you did. This is my absolute favorite. Thank you. Impressive. By the way, Appreciate this. You know, I don't believe I ever asked your feelings about this war. On the surface, it must seem as though we took Fodlin's fragile piece in our hand and shattered it into a thousand pieces. What, is it deep conversation time now? Where'd that come from? It's merely that we've never discussed the matter, and you are in a fairly unique position amidst this all. I thought you might be able to provide some perspective on how an outsider views the actions Adrestia has taken. I don't know. Don't think I really feel too strongly one way or the other. You have nothing to say. Nothing at all? That's how it goes when you're a merc. War, peace, doesn't matter. My job's the same either way. It's just money in, laid out. All there is to it. I suppose that's one way of looking at it. It's like you said. I'm in a unique position here. Meaning you would have answered differently were you not a mercenary. Uh, yeah. If I was a farmer, for example, I'd be hounding you day and night to end the war. Sure, you say you're gonna bring this bright and beautiful future, but am I really gonna suffer for years, maybe even decades, waiting for it? The stuff you're doing now, enlisting my farmhands, trampling my fields, destroying my crops, just doesn't make it worth the wait. But you know the toll it's taking on your people, yet you choose to press on with the war anyway. So you've got to have a good reason, right? Yes, of course. You certainly don't mince words. Is it the years of mercenary work that made you this way, or have you always been like this? Pretty sure it's who I am. It was just me and my mom growing up, you see. We lived in a village, but for whatever reason, she liked to keep to herself. So, I guess it rubbed off on me. I learned pretty quick not to get attached. Is that so? I would be interested to hear more. Trust me, it's not as interesting as it sounds. Who says it has to be? Interesting or not, I'll have you tell me one of these days. If you say so, just promise not to freak out when you realize how boring I am, okay? Do I seem like the type of person to freak out about such a thing? <sighs> Perhaps don't answer that.
Monica, why are you just standing there? I was waiting for you. You were speaking with Her Majesty, yes? Yep, just going over some strategy. Why? Did you need me for something? No, not exactly. So, what did Her Majesty say? Well, she wanted to get my opinion on how best to utilize our mercenaries, since they all use different weapons. We're gonna be fighting some upcoming battles on terrain that'll make it harder to use lances, so we were trying to figure out how to deal with that. And you didn't speak of anything else? Well, yeah, but it probably wouldn't interest you. Mercenary stuff, you know? That's not quite what I meant. There was cake for everyone, was there not? And I'm pretty certain there were fresh flowers throughout the room. Did you not see them? Oh yeah, that cake was great. Did you want a piece? Flowers though? Hmm... I think maybe there were some little white ones? Ugh! I have no interest in your opinion! I want to know what Her Majesty thought of them. Why do you want to know so badly? Can't you just ask Edelgard? You never know if a person is giving you their honest opinion when you spring a question on them. I just want to know what Her Majesty genuinely thought. Can't help you there, I'm afraid. I wasn't really paying attention. You were summoned by Her Majesty and granted the honor of giving her counsel. Then, she graciously offered you cake. And you didn't even have the decency to watch her eat it? Honestly, what is wrong with you? Sorry if I let you down somehow. I don't think I really get what the big deal is, though. Want me to go ask her right now? No, please don't. If Her Majesty learns I was prying about such things... <clears throat> I do not want to bother her with these trivialities. Forget I said anything. I see what's going on here. The cake and flowers were your doing, weren't they? That's why you were asking me about how Edelgard reacted. Yes, okay? Just please, not another word of this. All right, I get it. Well, not really, but... I beg you, forget this ever happened. The situation is far more complicated than you realize. Which battlefield are you headed to? For Her Majesty. Now you'll see how hard I've been training.
Let's earn our keep. I'll have them rescued in no time. We will surmount this challenge together. I beg your assistance at once. Right then, let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my duty done. So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. Here I go. No mistake. They must learn who they're up against. Come to me! Defenses crippled in short order. my duty done. Here I go. They must... They must learn who they're up against. Right then. Let us go to it. <laughs> I will see my duty done. Go to work. You appear to need assistance. Yeah. Now we 
you've got? strong enough. I won't let myself... Might I borrow you? Let me down. to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. a good result.
Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. Oh yeah, we've got this! I will see it done speedily. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? We all must do our fair share. And that's the situation. Now put your head down and see it done. Leave it to me. I can do this blindfolded. And don't neglect your night training. You'll be a wreck in the morning if you don't put the hours in. What kind of lazy jerk do you take me for? Of course I'd never skip my training. Very good. Well, I must be going. It seems you have a visitor anyway, so farewell. Wait, a visitor? Oh, hey, Petra. Sorry, were you waiting for me? What can I do for you? Uh, everything all right? You don't look so good. I am well. You have my thanks for your concern. You sure? I, I can walk you to the infirmary. I think Professor Manuela is in, actually. No, I am well. Do not be troubling yourself. If you say so. I do. Kaspar, I was not realizing that your father was visiting. Yeah, he dropped by to talk to Edelgard and some of the others. Guy's so busy he hardly stays in any one place for more than a few hours. I must be remembering that. Oh, you have some business with him? No, not yet. Hey, sorry, but did you need me for something? Huh? Oh, um, Edelgard is needing you. I was coming to tell you. She appeared quite upset. Her composure was almost lost. Wait, she's mad at me? Oh, no, I totally forgot she wanted to see me! Thanks, Petra, you're a lifesaver! One day, I will be having revenge. Leopold von Burgles, you will be ruined the day you stole my father's life. True enemy. Come back whenever you're hungry. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat.
This will help me break. What a fascinating power. I imagine this will serve me well. Time to work you into shape. Can't wait to see how you do. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Can't wait to see how you do. Which battlefield are you headed to? Could use the help. Fight starts now. 
next battle will be another victory I lay upon Lady Edelgard. I must outwit even death. To road to glory. Yeah? Yeah, we can win this. They must learn who they're up to. So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. Right then, let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my duty done. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn. We'll have these defenses crippled in short order. remain open to us. They must learn who they're up. All would be lost if I were to die here. Success was to be expected. Don't mind if I do. I can't say I like how this is unfolding. We've got an emergency. Send back up. Let's do this! Yeah. 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 Yeah
This methodic. Out of the way! Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. You have my support. Mm, yes. Right then, let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my duty. So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn. Onward and upward. I see.
Let's earn our keep. Imperial forces, attack! Right then, let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my duty done. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's... Yeah, we can win this. These defenses crippled in short order. I'll take this place down before you have time to strap your armor on. if I do. to continue trending this way. We've got an emergency! Send back up! I've got this. This won't be a problem anymore. is indeed a power that warrants it's more bitter than black is possible is that all we've got perhaps this will shift the situation in our favor Got a friend in Yeah, not bad. Retreat! I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs>
for the fate of Fodlan. Seth, but I'll catch up to you before you know it. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta fall back. Let us approach this method. I've got this. We have your back. In all things, this victory is in the name of Lady Edelgard. To kill. I'll use... Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Care to make yourself useful? I've got nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. I'm glad I'm paired with you, Manuela. So glad that I'm even excited to be working. Yes, it reminds me of our days in the opera company. But this time, you finally get to see I can do more than just strut about the stage. We all must do our fair share. Hunger is the true enemy. Come back whenever you're hungry. Time to work you into shape. Try this out. K. 
Can't wait to see how you do. Which battlefield are you headed to? Feels like an eternity since I've seen the walls of Garrig Mach. Who knew we'd leave as students and return at the head of the Imperial Army? Lady Rhea must be so angry at us. Oh, why did I agree to come along? We'll be lucky if angry is as far as her feelings go on the subject. I imagine she's apoplectic. I don't know that word, but it has way too many syllables not to be scary! The Knights of Saros will likely fight tooth and nail to stop us. Well, we've got teeth and we've got nails, so I don't care who we're facing. I'll brush them all aside. Worry not. While they may have a monastery to hole up in, we possess the superior numbers. Garagmok is well fortified. But not impregnable. We can't assume victory based on numbers alone. Anything could happen. So, let's just be careful. Good. And remember, our goal is to seize the monastery, not raise it to the ground. The soldiers are ready, Your Majesty. We can begin the attack at once. The scouting is also finished. We know with certainty where the enemy will be taking its positioning. We are owing this to Monica and her perfect memory. She has incredible knowledge of this place. As usual, Monica, your talents are invaluable. I really didn't do much, Your Majesty. That is, um, it was truly an honor to assist you. Not to say I've finished helping you, of course. In fact, I am always at the ready. Don't ever change, Monica. And finally, who do we have here? This is my little sister, Flesh. I was given approval to make her my attendant. Flesh von Burgley's at your service, Your Majesty. My brother and I are, um, in your hands. Ah, so you're Kaspar's famous aunt, who's actually younger than he is. Yes, Your Majesty. The very same. Flesh is too green for battle, but she'll be providing support from behind the front lines. You can rely on me. I realize saying this might make the situation worse, but there's no need to be so nervous. If you act to the best of your abilities, all will be well. Now then, everyone. The time has come. The time to take Garrig Mach and reclaim Fodlan! Jumping straight into the maw of our enemies, eh? Ooh, how exciting! Is this where I should talk about my heart racing? Huh? Since when do we talk about your feelings? That's new.
not throw away your lives, friends. Be not reckless as you attend to our defense. A defensive position within the monastery walls? This is merely a stolen attempt. We must dispatch them at once. Then the brute force approach it is. Garrick Ma must fall. Begin. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my team. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. There is not a question of can. Leave this to me. We'll start on the lower level and work our way up. Taking control of the walls. Split into groups and take those strongholds. The enemy is desperate, and will most likely... To think I would be serving the church and fighting my own homeland? Is this the goddess testing me? Dispatch troops to recapture any strongholds we seize. Be on your guards for this tactic. <laughs> Why'd they drag me into this? Not fair. It's Bernie's time to shine! Sure hope this goes okay. So... Sure, let's try it. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. Here I go. No, but they must learn who they're up against. Right then. <laughs> I will see my... Right then. <laughs> Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. There is not a question of can. Leave this to me. Constance, why are you of all people cooperating with the Church? All I can say is I was unlucky enough to be nearby when the church had need of fighters. I beg your forgiveness, your majesty. If you don't want to fight, then surrender. I swear no harm will come to you. That's very nice of you, but they gave me a home here. So I should probably put up at least some kind of fight. Yeah. That I am reluctant to do this, I can see no other choice. a night. Just great. No matter who they are, all who choose the wrong side in war must be cut down. So ends my grief and meaningless existence. There's no 
not a question of can. Only a matter of will. has already lost everything. The right flank has broken the enemy line. The left is through as well, Your Majesty. Excellent job, both of you. But there is still much work to be done. We will not sit idly by and allow Garrett Mock to be placed in further danger. Right then. Let us go to work. I will see my duty done. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. There is not a question of can. Only a map. Leave this to me. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up. It's Bernie's time to shine. You need some backup? Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. The enemy is unleashing powerful magic. We can't hold out for long. The enemy is out for the strongholds we capture. They'll be retaken if we don't defend them quickly. Some parts of the monastery walls appear weak. An armored unit could likely smash through and provide another way in. Though I am reluctant to do this, I can see no other choice. is crippled in short order. The enemy stronghold will be ours. Take we need to intercept those reinforcements. Those are the knights of There is not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Leave this to me. Zeros, we were never going to stop them that easily. learn who they're up against. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. Time to show how strong you've become.
Let's take this place down before you have time to strap your armor on. It's not a question of can. Only um, leave this to me. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. Here I go. No, they must learn who they're up against. So, what should I do? Sure, let's try it. An ambush from above. They are having the advantage, but we can turn it around. <laughs> Handled the situation. Maybe I actually held my own. I'm so good. I have to defend the monastery, whatever it takes. shows no sign of stopping. And if we don't keep an eye on our strongholds, we'll be sure to lose them. I will capture the stronghold. Reluctant to do this, I can see no other choice. To kill.
I must. Leave this to me. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Right then. <laughs> Keep going. We're making progress. Thanks for the rescue. We owe you. I care not for your reasoning. There can be no excuse for war. It is not a problem. We have preparedness for these things. Enemy has retaken a stronghold. We must keep a closer eye on such things. I must do everything in my power to stop this. Leave this to me. So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. Here I go. They must learn who they're up against. Right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my duty done. It's Bernie's time to shine! Sure hope this goes okay. Right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> I will... There is not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Leave this to me. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. It's Bernie's time to shot! Sure hope this goes okay.
We'll soon control the walls. We are losing ground. Dig in, all of you! We must hold out, no matter what! We just need to fight our way up to the monastery proper. We can retreat no further. Right then, let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my duty done. It's Bernie's time to shine! Sure hope this goes okay. There's not a question of can. Only leave this to me. Oh, leave this to me. So sure, let's try it. You Empire soldiers will rue the day you took up arms against Garrick Mark. Right then, let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my duty done. Here I go. No mistakes. I've got this. I will not ask you your reasons. Not anymore. But I will see your evil punished! Yeah? Not I'm not gonna die here! Yeah? Come on! Yeah! I never imagined I would struggle so. Yeah? Defy Trump! Forgive me, Raven. I can fight no longer. The rest is up to you. Worry not, Seth. Nor you, Flame. You both did well to hold them back this long. Now come forth, all of you. Protect Garen Mark from those despicable rebels. So Lady Rhea has decided to show herself at last. Stop hearts, everyone. Victory can only be ours if we strike her down. I'll fight for Lady Rhea until the end. Sure hope this goes. 
who's okay? There's not a question of can. Only leave this to me. Not a problem. I've got this. Right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my... So... What should... Sure, let's try it. Here I go. No mistake. They must learn who they're up against. Ready the heavy weapons. We can no longer afford the luxury of worrying about collateral damage to the town. Not a problem. We'll be in serious trouble if they target Her Majesty. We have to take control of those weapons right now. I have to protect her. I'll take this place down before you have time to strap your armor on. Take that! Right then, let us go to work. Sorry, Lady Rain. I can't fight anymore. Your efforts will not be in vain, Salem. I will send these sinners to meet the goddess. Let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my... So... What should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. It's Bernie's time to shine! Sure hope this goes okay. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me.
for involving yourself in this. It's not a mystery. I'm a merc, and she's got the coin to pay me. To desecrate Garrett Mark for one minute further. There's not a question of can, only a matter of will. Leave this to me. So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. There's not a question of can, only a mat. Leave this to me. Oh, if I must, leave this to me. Begin. The skies. This precious and I will not permit you to have it. The monastery for now, Edelgard. But know this, there will be no forgiveness for your blasphemous actions this day. No, I don't expect there will be. Take heart, everyone. Garrig Mok has fallen, and victory is ours. Lady Rhea, are you hurt? Oh, Catherine, you came. Not soon enough. Garrig Mach is done for. It is all right. For now, we must retreat. This path is unknown to the Empire. It will take us out to ALL, the Valley of Torment. From there, we make for Fargus to seek aid. The Empire attacked from the east, which means at least some of the Alliance's lords must have aligned with them. But those of the Kingdom are devout. We can trust them. I have already sent a messenger ahead requesting reinforcements, and, should the need arise, asylum. In that case, I'll talk to my parents and ask for their assistance as well. Regardless, we should hurry. We can't let the Empire get ahead of us and send troops onto Kingdom soil. Now, follow me, if you would. Thank you, Catherine. Let Edelgard have Garrick Mock for now. Let her enjoy this fleeting moment of glee. Because when we return here... Edelgard von Hressvelk will suffer a death beyond her greatest imagining. I must outwit even death. My potential. And I'll Seems like no matter what. Battle. 
I won't let myself stop. I'm... This power will serve me in the times to come. I work to grow. This is quite fast. Garrick Mach, you remain ever as resplendent as the day I left you. The place cannot be so dear to your heart that it requires inferior poetry for an introduction. Inferior? I will have you know that line comes from one of my favorite operas. However, I concede I may have gotten carried away, what with my head still swimming from battle. Hey, I know exactly what you mean. Something about Garrett Mach is just special. And our victory here is gonna have a huge impact on the war, right? Yes, this should be enough to lure some of the more indecisive nobles into our camp. I only wish I could vanquish the guilt I feel for turning on the church like this. Still, it was my decision to fight by Eighty's side, and I stand by it to the end. I see. In that case, proceed as planned. Deploy the pursuit units immediately. At once, Your Majesty. So, Rhea and the others escaped with the help of a great white beast, did they? Almost as if the Immaculate One that saved St. Seros has returned from the mists of legend. Although, it's a bit unnerving the way it sprung out of nowhere. I knew we shouldn't have messed with Lady Rhea. She can be so scary. I'm just going to go back to my room and stay there until forever, okay? Okay. Do as you like, Bernadetta. But realize your father will be arriving in Garrick Mock soon. This is the seat of the Church of Saros, and as bishop, his place is here. Really? In that case, I think I'll just forget about the monastery and go with you. Good. Just be aware we may be marching for the kingdom next. The kingdom? <sighs> I possess no love for the cold, but I will try to grin as I am bearing it. Point at the path to your foes and I will be hunting them to their final breath. Don't get ahead of yourself, Petra. Whether we capture or kill will depend on the foe. Now then, enough wasting time. We need to find Rhea, and we need her alive. Two years ago, I never would have imagined we'd be fighting a war like this. You say fighting, but I think you mean instigating. Let's be fully clear about our role in all of this. Still, this is a positive turn of events for you, yes? How do you mean? When a war breaks out, every mercenary in the land starts crawling out of the woodwork. And those associates you happen to be working with should be tough enough to take on you-know-who. Gerald's mercenaries. Yeah, good point. And then you can give them their just desserts or die trying. Could have done without that last part. Thanks. Relax, relax. You know I'm on your side. Our destinies are forever intertwined.
Listen up, boy. You're not going to believe this. Judith, do you think you could ease up on the whole boy thing? I'm your fearless leader now, remember? But sure, tell me what happened. You might want to take a seat for this. Garrig Mach Monastery has fallen. Not even the Great Knights of Saros could stop the invaders' overwhelming numbers. Wait, what? That's not possible. They should still be days away from the monastery. How did they manage to deliver an army of that size to the gates of Garrick Mach so quickly? Unless... This can't be happening. Did Count Gloucester turn? And Acheron too? I'm afraid both houses fly Imperial colors now. House Phlegathon yielded the north side of the Great Bridge of Murden, and Gloucester waved them right on through. Those filthy liars! When I warned them the Empire was raising an army, they couldn't stop puffing their chests and crowing about how they'd hold the border. But it looks like the Empire had already gotten to them. This is all my fault for not keeping my ear to the ground. I'm afraid that wouldn't have helped, Fearless Leader. All the dirty dealings were handled via letter. But now I've lost the initiative, and against Edelgard no less. She can come at the Alliance with gloves off now. This is a real problem. What is it? Sir, we have an unexpected guest. It's, uh, Lord Holst of House Goneril. Holst? What's the strongest man in Leicester doing at my door? Besides thinking about battering it down, I mean. You can ask him yourself, sir. He is present. Apologies for dropping by without warning, my lord. I just happened to be near Deirdre when word reached me about Garrick Mach. I didn't realize you were in our neck of the woods, Holst, but please, come make yourself at home. As fate would have it, I was just pulling my hair out over the exact same problem. Can you believe that Count Gloucester? He turned on us like it was nothing. If I don't handle this situation with the Empire delicately, it will fracture the Alliance. If you have any sage advice, now would be a great time for it. Or muscle. I'll take muscle if that's what I can get. I came here to help however I can. We must work together to keep Lester safe, and more importantly, free. Garrig Mach has fallen to the Empire, Your Majesty. I did not expect it would last long. Is Lady Rhea safe? Yes. She escaped, and is on her way here with a small force. I see. This won't be like granting asylum to your standard refugee. If we take the Archbishop in, it will be tantamount to declaring war on the very Empire. Is that a risk you're willing to accept, Your Majesty? It is. We have already thoroughly discussed the matter with the Kingdom's Lords. Even if I refrain from deciding publicly one way or the other, the Empire will still insist that we hand Lady Rhea over. The Kingdom's people and government are too frail to stand without the Holy Church's support. I agree with her ultimate goal. But such a situation calls for gradual reform over time. The Emperor's desire to tear it up rapidly will not do. Then it is a good thing we've prepared for such contingencies. I will start by sending a party to ALL to welcome our new guests. Thank you. I would go myself if I could. But I'm needed here to prepare for the war. For now, send messengers to Counts Galatea and Karen imploring them to muster troops for our defense. Oh, and send for House Fraldarius as well. Let's make sure our new Duke earns his title. Grave news, Your Majesty. Hmm? What is it now? Count Roe has declared fealty to the Empire and is marshalling his troops as we speak. Also, one of his bannermen, Lord Lenato, is moving to hunt down and slay the Archbishop. 
We have long held our suspicions about House Row, but I never expected their actions to plunge us into war. And after all the discussions we've had to prevent exactly this, he must believe his reason is just. Very well, then. Our plans have changed. I will go and meet with Lady Rhea personally, and House Fraudarius will serve as my guard. Inform Galatea and Karen. They are to gather their troops in Erebus and Geraint lands. Lord Lonato was once a faithful servant to the Crown. Will you now see him executed? I have no mercy for traitors, no matter their pasts. On the contrary, I have an obligation to protect the kingdom from his kind. We've struggled long to attain this peace. I will not permit the Empire to crush it beneath their foot now. <laughs>